One of the most perplexing questions for anyone to work out in their lives is whether they're spending their lives doing the right thing. Am I supposed to be a plumber or an accountant or a doctor or none of the above? What am I supposed to do with my life? How am I supposed to fill up my days? What's my career meant to be? And this level of angst just goes up if you're a person of faith because people of faith believe they've been created by God for a purpose. And so they have even more reason to get this decision right, believing that they're accountable one day to the one who formed them and made them for such a purpose. I was raised in an environment where, if you imagine a board with a ton of white squares, the, the, the will of God or God's intention for my life was in this small square in the middle. And so there was all of these places on the board that were off limits, and there was this one sweet spot that I had to find, which was called the center of God's will. Actually, it's not a phrase that you'll find in the Bible, but it was a phrase that got used in my upbringing, in my version of church. The center of God's will. And there was this enormous pressure that was felt. I've got to find the center of God's will, and I've got to be in the center of God's will. And then I began to read the scripture and let the scripture interpret how God's will was uh, understood by me. And I realized in scripture, from the beginning in scripture, in Genesis, in the Bible's first book, it says that God put this man and woman in the garden and gave them tons and tons and tons of options, thousands of yeses and one no. God said, there's this one tree that I want you to actually stay away from. But apart from that, you can choose whatever you like. And I think this understanding rolls down into how we make our daily choices. You know, what does God think about our career as a plumber or an electrician or a doctor? Does he have a strong opinion about that? I think we have this amazing amount of white space. There's one or two things to stay away from, you know? Don't be an ax murderer, don't be a terrorist. Um, perhaps don't even be a prostitute. There's these few things that we're supposed to stay away from, but in actuality, the will of God is in the white space. There's this enormous freedom to choose. So rather than thinking of God as this judge that's ready to crash down on me when I make a wrong decision, I now think of him as a cheerleader, like an affirming dad who's barracking for me to, to go well and believing in me. And the greatest concern I have now is not necessarily about whether I'm in the right career or not, but whether my connection to him is strong or not. I think he really cares about that. So my encouragement to you today is to think less about the decision you're making on your career and whether this direction or that direction. I reckon in those matters, we've got a ton of freedom and God's saying, go for it, I believe in you. But more important than anything else is that we keep our connection strong in him.